There is a store in Marshalltown that opened during the Civil War. It was continuously operated by the same family in the same location until late last month. New at 10, KCCI's Steve Carlin tells us why it finally closed. You know the old saying, mind your own business? One family has embodied that expression for 157 years at the corner of North First and West Main in Marshalltown. Jonathan Hull is the fifth generation owner operator of Willard's Furs and Fashions. It was my great great grandfather Hiram Willard that founded the business. Hiram started the store in 1864. He heard about Marshalltown at that time because it was a railroad hub. A fast growing frontier town and Hiram's tannery flourished. They would have railroad cars full of pelts. Because furriers around the world, monkey pelts, jaguar pelts, quickly came to know the place, ocelot, leopard pelts from Africa, for high quality work at a fair price. He was a very honest and trusted person in that profession. Business took a huge turn around 1910, when Jonathan's grandfather, Willard Hall, got involved. It expanded into you know, making garments and fur robes and rugs. And coats. And even today, there's nothing warmer than a fur coat. They weren't just fashionable. At the time, they were highly functional. Back then, they didn't have uh, goose down polyfill. After World War II, Willards annually made hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars in today's money from mink. And it still is today probably the most durable, best wearing that you can get. But due to societal pressures and some natural disasters, the fur business has lost its durability. You might say Marshalltown has been hit by a three-headed monster the past few years. In 2018, it was a tornado that came right down Main Street here. Then the pandemic hit, and last summer, the derecho. So when it came to Willard's, Jonathan decided to hang it up. So, after 157 years of minding their own business, Willard's Furs and Fashions in Marshalltown is finally out of business. Steve Carlin, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. And the old Willard's building has been sold. The new owners are refurbishing it, but aren't saying yet what they'll do with it.